If your internet's just gone down, you might be wondering what to do and if there's any way to get back online. In this video, we've explained what steps you should take if your Wi-Fi's just gone offline, hopefully helping you get connected again as soon as possible. Before we get started, thanks to 3 for sponsoring this video. Their 5G broadband product offers really fast download speeds for a very reasonable monthly cost compared to using fiber broadband. From our testing, their router is really easy to set up, no engineer visit necessary, and also offers low latency. Make sure to click the link in the description to the 3 website to see if you can get the 5G hub at your address at the moment. So when your broadband goes offline, the first thing you should do is check if everyone is offline, or just you. Because if it's everyone, you're not going to be able to do much about this, except maybe call your provider and ask when you'll be back online. But how do you tell if everyone else is also offline? If you know any of your neighbours are using the same broadband provider, you can try texting them and see if their internet has also gone down. And it's also a good idea to use this website called downdetector.co.uk. If you come to your provider here, you should see a decent spike in this graph if there are any widespread issues at the moment. And in the comments, people report where their broadband is down. There's even a map showing where recent reports have been made from, helping you see if your provider is down for other people around you as well. If there is a widespread problem, all you can do is call your provider, report the issue, and ask when it'll be fixed. If the problem has just started, they might do some line checks on your connection to investigate the problem and to see how long it'll take them to resolve. But if it's just you that's offline, keep watching and it will explain how to fix this. A good place to start is to check if everything connected to the router is offline. It might be that your whole connection hasn't actually gone down. It might just be that there's issues with certain devices or types of devices. For example, if it's just your laptop that's gone offline, it might be that the Wi-Fi chip has just failed. Or if everything connected to Wi-Fi has disconnected, there might be an issue with the router causing its Wi-Fi to malfunction. When you're checking this, make sure to test whether the device plugged into the router directly rather than something connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't already have something plugged into the router, try connect a laptop or even a games console with an ethernet cable to see if this fixes the issue. If it does, it means you're hunting a Wi-Fi problem rather than your whole connection going down. Once you've verified that everything has gone completely offline, the next thing to do is restart the router. Just unplug it from power, wait for about 15 seconds, and then plug it back in, and wait for the router to reconnect to the internet. It could be that the router has crashed, especially if it's been running for a long time, and giving it a quick reboot can get you back up and running. As the router restarts, it's a good idea to pay attention to its starter lights. If the router can't pick up an internet connection, you might see one of its lights turn red, indicating that it's disconnected from the internet which means there might be a bigger problem that your broadband provider needs to look into. Before calling your provider, it's worth reseating all the connections to the router in case something's become loose. Unplug it from power again, and then unplug everything from the router, including the broadband cable, both on the router side and on the other side, such as where the broadband cable plugs into your open reach modem or your phone socket. You just want to make sure that everything is plugged in correctly. Maybe the cat knocks something loose, or somehow or other the cable has become just a bit unstuck, and it needs plugging back in. Wait for the router to reboot again, and then see if you can get online. At this point, if you're still getting no internet signal to the router, we'd probably ring our broadband provider at this point. There could be a line fault that they need to address. They could be only affecting your household. This can still happen even to just one house, and it's something they need to look into. So it's worth calling your provider, explaining what's happened, and see what they say. Fortunately, most UK broadband providers have UK-based support teams, and according to Ofcom, they normally take only two or three minutes to answer the phone, but it depends on the time of day that you call them. So hopefully, if your connection has gone down, they'll be able to resolve the problem pretty quickly. So we also thought we'd mention Ofcom's rules about compensation when your broadband goes down, because if you've reached this point, it's probably the case that there's an issue with your connection. Basically, if you're with one of these providers, they need to fix the issue within a certain time frame, or you're entitled to automatic compensation in the form of a credit against your bill. If your service goes down, they have two full working days to fix the problem, and if they can't, you're entitled to £9.76 for each day that you're offline, beyond these two initial working days. And in theory, you don't have to apply for any of this. 
As long as you've reported the issue and then there's a delay in fixing it, this should automatically be applied against your bill. But a lot of people aren't aware of this, so we just thought we'd mention it in case you have gone offline for a few days or more. So let's say you've called your provider and they're not sure what the issue is. There's one other thing you might want to try, depending on the router you're using. Most of the time, most routers will update their firmware automatically. They'll download the update overnight and then install it by themselves. The firmware is basically just the software that the router uses. Router firmware is updated from time to time to improve performance and to fix bugs. So it's important to keep it up to date. The problem is some routers don't update their firmware automatically. This is more likely to be the case if you have an older router or a router that wasn't shipped from your broadband provider. If there's an issue with a router you've got from your provider, they'll normally be able to fix the issue if you call them, or at least help you troubleshoot it. With a custom router, they might not know how to fix it. So if you're in this situation, go to the manufacturer's website of the router you're using and search for firmware updates. Then you can normally download the firmware from there and then you'll be able to update it by logging into your router and uploading it through the admin interface. This can potentially solve issues where your connection has gone offline. It's a bit of a last resort, but it's definitely worth trying, especially if your router isn't updating firmware on its own. If you're still stuck offline, at this point, it's worth setting up your phone's hotspot so you still have Wi-Fi at home while the issue is being fixed. To do this, just go to connection settings on your phone and search for the hotspot settings. Then you'll be able to share your 4G or 5G data with other devices. Your phone will create a Wi-Fi hotspot you can connect to from your laptop, iPad, games consoles, or other devices. The connection won't be as fast, depending on how good your mobile signal is, but it still should be plenty good for streaming TV, browsing the web, reading emails, and that sort of thing. Just be careful about hitting your phone data limit, especially if you're doing a lot of data intensive activities, like watching high definition video. Hopefully, using some of these tips, you were able to get back online. If not, we hope you'll be back online soon. And if you have any questions about troubleshooting downtime or fixing other internet issues, leave a comment below and we'll respond as soon as we can.